Hey guys, and welcome back to the seven day uh, mindset challenge. So we are working on all things uh, mindset related um, around uh, business. And um, I'm guessing that's probably the title of uh, day three. Well done, by the way, for getting to day three. I hope you've enjoyed days one and two so far. Um, yes, uh, so the title of um, day three's topic is 70-10-2, which is something which I think you all know a lot about now. These numbers, I am eventually going to get tattooed somewhere on my body, um, but I need to try and do it in such a way that people don't think it's my tally of number of people maybe that I've killed or something like that. Anyway, uh, let's not go into that. So, 70-10-2. So, we all know that this is a uh, sales and marketing funnel type thing. 70 calls should lead to 10 meetings and 2 sales. Now, the one thing that I will mention at this point, and this is what today's uh, mindset challenge topic is all about, is that in order to get those two sales, i.e. two yeses, we've got to get, you guessed it, 68 no's. So most business owners spend most of their days focusing on the yes quota. How many yeses can we get? If we get yeses, that means that we've succeeded in sales and marketing and we've got some uh, some products or service to, services to deliver and we can as a result of that then invoice people we can get paid we can pay our bills and we can put food on the table but in order to get those two sales i can guarantee that pretty much every single one of you has garnered even though you don't realize it a heck of a lot of no's. Now I didn't just make these numbers up and Google didn't just make these numbers up but if you read Google's um, zero moments of truth doc, in fact don't read it because it's dull as ditch water, but basically Google did this um, white paper study called um, zero moments of truth and it was all about um, how much engagement do we have to create with our clients in order to get to a certain number of sales. Now why they didn't do 3551, I guess it's not quite as catchy as 7010. Um, and there's obviously a scientific mathematical reason behind it, but they do have a shed load of data. Um, and so I, I trust Google. And when they say that 70, 10, 2 for most service based businesses, especially um, and even consumer based businesses, too, um, I, I believe them. So but the key thing is here that in order to get those two sales, we have to have a no quota. So remember, in the goals um, model, I talk about um, three things. So we talk about having a goal in mind i.e. the two sales, so that's our yes quota. We talk about having a desire, um, a, 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 having a strong enough desire to overcome any challenges which we might face, goes without saying. And then there's that the activities. Now the activities, it's not just about doing the right activities necessarily, which is what my goals diagram talks about. It's also about doing the right volume of activities in order to achieve that goal. So what I want you to do is, and th this isn't, this isn't so much a mindset technique, this is just getting you to look at your business in a slightly different way because I want you to stop focusing on the yeses and start focusing on the noes because I can guarantee that if you're coming to me saying, oh, I find it really difficult to get clients and I turn around to you and say, well, how many people have you spoken to this month? Uh, well, uh, I don't know, uh, five, ten. It doesn't strike me that those um, that that's a high enough volume of activity, for example. Um, it could be that um, if you're an e-commerce um, retailer, for example, um, you know, oh, I haven't had enough sales this month. Okay, well, how many how many people have you managed to get to your website? Well, three. Well, is it any wonder that you probably haven't sold any more than three products yet? So you can kind of see where I'm going with this. Too many people focus on the yeses, but not enough people focus on the noes. When we start to focus on the noes, it means that we can start to readdress the balance of how much um, time we're putting into doing the right activities, i.e. setting up meetings and making those, not necessarily, I wouldn't suggest any of you start cold calling people, but are we going to networking events? Are we having conversations with people? Are we following up on inquiries as people post stuff up onto Facebook and our social media channels? Um, are we asking people for referrals? Are we, are we doing all of the activity and the right volume, loads of activity in order to get all of these meetings set up that we can then have the opportunity to sell? So um, one of the things I'm going to ask you to do uh, is uh, three very simple questions is tell me over the last 12 months, how many conversations have you had with people um, or inquiries? Have you got a way of measuring inquiries? So how many inquiries have you had in? 
how many meetings or consultations have you sat um, over the last 12 months and consequently how many sales have you made now if you can't tell me these numbers it's absolutely fine um, that's one thing that we you will have learned today is that you actually need to start getting these numbers um, and I'll tell you um, not on day four, but probably on day five, um, I'm going to show you why it's really important that we know our numbers. If we know our numbers within our business, the business will start to become predictable. That's what this is all about. If we don't know our numbers, if we don't know how many meetings we've got to sit to convert our, the number of clients we need in order to make the money we want to achieve our goals, um, we've got nothing to go on. We're kind of just shooting in the dark. But if we can start to get a picture of what these numbers look like in our business, how many no's we, we, we need to get, how much activity we need to be doing in order to get the yeses, um, our businesses all of a sudden start to become predictable. Because provided we do the right activities, right volume of activities every single month, month in, month out, we will consistently get clients. So that's it. 70-10-2, folks. That's day three of the Mindset Challenge. I look forward to reading your um, uh, answers. Uh, um, uh, for the worksheet so go and down download that and then I will catch up with you tomorrow for day four